Joining me right now on the Fox 59 Red Couch is Eugene Lee, certified NFL agent and the president of MKB Sports Management. First of all, Eugene, thanks for being here. Welcome to Indy. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know we, we were in um, danger of possibly losing the combine a few weeks ago, but then we heard we're going to keep it. So how do you like having the combine here? I know you've been I, to a lot of them. I absolutely love it. I've come to love Indianapolis as a second home. I've been here for 19 years now. Yeah. And I just love the downtown area. And I know it's such a boon to the economy, you know, having the combine here yeah. and what it does for the economy. And I just think it's so well run. And it's a central location. Well, we have a lot of sports fans. I know that you uh, have... Uh, your company has, you have a lot of big NFL players on your docket. Uh, Jerome Bettis, Hall of Famer, Pittsburgh Steelers, Barry Sanders, Detroit Lions, a lot of new talent, a right. lot of current talent in the game right now. Morgan Spurlock calls you the most ethical agent in the NFL. You were on the ESPN 30 for 30, the dotted line. Talk to me a little bit about what is different about your approach. This is a cutthroat, right. very tough business. What we try to do is we try to find young men and recruit young men and represent young men that are consistent with our ideals and our values. And for me, it's taking a young man who does know the difference between right and wrong yeah. and then helping guide him, helping mentor him. I mean, life in the NFL, as you mentioned, is a cut, it's a cutthroat business. Yeah. It's a business where every day of the week on Tuesdays, on your off day, your team is bringing in players to work out to take your job. So there's really not much, much job, job security in the NFL. And that means your mindset in the right place. Exactly. I mean, you're always, it's sort of on pins and needles. So yeah. you need somebody in your corner who's going to help navigate the waters with you. So for us, integrity and character, is, they're fundamental yeah. to our approach. Well, you definitely live that out by example. I know the Combine, there's so many young players here. You've got a couple of your, mm -hmm. few of your uh, young players yes. here going for this. Who are, you, who are you looking at? What are you... We have a defensive back from the University of Maryland. His name is Sean Davis. Sean is a very versatile, big defensive back, which teams love nowadays. Yes. He can, he's very, very athletic, very fast. He should test extremely well. 6'1", 201 pounds. He had a great senior bowl week, and I expect him to have a very good time, very good workout here in Indy. Well, maybe the Colts are looking at him. We I think the Colts, if they were going to go draft the position, I think they'd look at running back. Okay. Frank Gore had a good season last year, but he's yeah. not getting any younger. He's about 33, okay. I think. So I think that in this draft, there are some good running backs in the top two rounds. All so right. I think they can well, Coach Pagano and Ryan Griffin came out yesterday and said they are definitely in the market. So uh, yes. they're, they're around the combine. You know, let's talk about the organizations. What organizations would you say in the NFL are the classiest, most in organizations with the most integrity? I think you start with the older organizations, you know, going back to, you know, way back in the 1930s and 40s. You have to start with the Giants, the New York yeah. Giants, the Pittsburgh Steelers, family-owned organizations, you know, the Green Bay Packers. They're a public company now, but they have history that goes back almost 100 years. And the other big thing in the NFL now, concussions. We've got to talk about that mm -hmm. because there are a lot of players coming out of the game right. because CTE is real. Right. Um, it's not something we can ignore anymore. Um, how do you have that conversation with your players? I think... You have an obligation to your player to be honest with him. And obviously there is a, there's a risk involved in playing the game. I mean, there's no hiding the risk. You know, Roger Goodell cannot come out and say that playing football is as dangerous as sitting on your couch. It's not. I mean, these are risks that are borne by these players every Sunday afternoon. And the families are affected. That's true. But it comes down, like anything else in life, it comes down to a balance. About balancing the risk versus the reward. Being able to provide for your family, use your platform as a yeah. athlete to do good, to give back to your community, and then weighing that against the risk up to your long-term health. Do you think we're going to see more players stepping out of the game? I absolutely do. I think that you're starting to see the trend now. I mean, you saw Patrick Willis step yeah. away last yeah. year, Calvin Johnson possibly this year. Yeah. I think you're going to see more and more players step away. Justin Tuck yeah. a couple weeks ago. So I think you're going to see the trend continue. Well, we'll continue to watch that for sure. I know that's something that parents need to be thinking about as they put their young sons into the game as well. Um, let's talk a little bit about your book because your okay. book is doing very well. The, yes. the title, once again, I want to make sure we have it on the screen, but the title of your book. My Brother's Keeper, Above and Beyond the Dotted Line with the NFL's Most Ethical Agent. What do you want young people, we got to get out of here, but what do you want the young people to know mostly about the importance of integrity, ethics, ethics and values. Integrity is the wellspring of character. It's, it is good business. And people that, sometimes people are under the misconception that integrity means that you're weak in business, you can't succeed, but you can succeed. I mean, it is the foundation for everything that I have done and everything that we'll continue to do. And the book itself, it'll be inspiring, but it'll be entertaining. It's not didactic. I mean, there will be some thrilling, right. funny stories in there as well. Well, we hope people pick up a copy. I yeah. understand that someone, a little birdie told me that one of your favorite scriptures is Jeremiah 29:11. So hopefully our young people will uh, look up that scripture. I absolutely. That's my seed verse. That's I love awesome. That. Yep. All right, Dan, over to you. All right, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it.